Hi guys, from past few videos, I am working on a tutorial series of creating a responsive drop down menu using CSS3 and HTML5. Okay, now in my last video, I had done till here, and uh, in this video, I will continue. Okay, uh, in this video, I will uh, style a tag sub menu li. A tag line height as 35 pixel and display as block. Okay, now this one list is display list item float none and width let us give width to our sub menu list item as 120 pixel Transform as uppercase. Okay. Okay, guys. Now given a style to my a tag. Now I need to display that sub menu when I hover a top menu item. Now menu list when I hover a list in menu in main menu then I want to show my sub menu ok right auto or flow auto and then opacity I am giving up a full opacity because I want to show it when I hover and then filter amplifier opacity yes save and now if I to my search see when I hover can see my navigation sub menu uh, see now I need to make it as responsive so now if I just see guys here if I resize or if I decrease the window size it's not displaying properly see here how it's displaying it has to display like this it needs to be adjustable or it uh, should display uh, in a proper way in all the devices okay here it's not displaying correctly so let us inspect it we need to use media queries to do thing do this thing done okay now Okay, see when I reach to pixel size 765. Okay, it's changing its layout. Okay, now I need to write a media query to that. Okay, in a skeleton framework, uh, you already have media queries and uh, uh, all those features. You just need to go to your skeleton and you need to open it here you can see this is a grid and if you come further down you will find media queries here ok see here now I need to style here ok when my device width changes from 960 to 760 
I need to style them with different CSS. Hey guys, let us do it. In order to make your site responsive to your navigation bar responsive, you need to paste this. Don't worry, guys, I will explain this. Okay, now just come to your site. When you refresh, see previously it was not showing like this. Now it's displaying properly. And for this screen size, it's uh, again not showing properly. We need to resize it. We need to add some CSS styles to this media query. Okay, and just let me explain you this. See this container dot menu list item. I have given uh, container class and menu list item here. You can see. Expect see here. This container. This is this container comes from get skeleton skeleton dot uh, css file container and this menu okay container and menu class I want to style in this resolution whenever a user decreases a window size and comes to this till this 767 of uh, screen size I want to change my a tag style okay see here 767 right i will go here 7 okay 767 here it's changing guys okay here it's changing See here it's changing the layout is changing here now you can see here see these are here showing media queries you can edit this media queries okay now we need to style for different size width for this okay now Okay, I will show you how to style for this window size in my next video. Till then, goodbye guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.